Hello there, and welcome to Level Update. As of October 6, 2025, Lake Mead's water level sits at 1,058.10 feet above sea level, just under 171 feet below full capacity. While this elevation might seem concerning at first glance, it actually represents a notable improvement over some of the most critical years in the past decade. Over the last several months, Lake Mead has managed to maintain a relatively stable pattern, avoiding the sharp declines that characterized previous years. The data shows a modest gain since yesterday, a small but positive change that hints at ongoing inflows, keeping the lake balanced as we enter the fall season. When compared to previous years, 2025 stands out as a recovery phase, rather than a collapse. Looking back at 2024, for instance, the lake hovered around 1070 feet in early spring before gradually slipping downward through the summer. The 2025 line on the chart shows a more restrained pattern, a gentle climb through the first half of the year, reaching a peak in March near 1069 feet, followed by a slow and steady decline into autumn. This suggests that while inflows may have been moderate, water management and reduced releases have helped keep levels from dropping dramatically. In contrast, 2023 was considerably lower for much of the year, struggling to stay above 1045 feet. That year was marked by increased downstream demand and less carryover storage from prior seasons. Seeing how 2025 levels are hovering roughly 13 feet higher than this same time in 2023 highlights a measurable improvement in water storage. It's not a complete turnaround, but it's a sign that conditions, at least for now, are somewhat more stable than they were during the more alarming phases of the last few years. The real shock, however, comes when you look back at 2022. The line drops to some of the lowest points on the entire graph, falling below 1040 feet during summer, levels that pushed Lake Mead dangerously close to critical shortage thresholds. In comparison, today's reading near 1058 feet feels like a different era entirely. The reservoir is now sitting nearly 18 feet higher than in 2022, which demonstrates how incremental gains can add up over time. It's not an overnight recovery, but it's a meaningful shift upward from the edge of crisis. If we move further back to 2021 and 2020, the difference becomes even more striking. In 2020, the lake was holding close to 995 feet early in the year, gradually tapering down through fall, but still well above today's mark. That was before the multi-year drought took its toll. By 2021, the lake had dropped into the mid-1080s, initiating the sharp downward trajectory that led to record lows in 2022. Comparing 2025 to those earlier years offers a sense of perspective. While the lake remains far below the pre-drought levels of 2020, it has also managed to climb well above the depths of 2022 and 2023. The current year seems to be settling into a middle zone between those extremes. Another important observation from this chart is the general flattening of the 2025 curve in recent months. Rather than the steep summer declines we saw in 2021 and 2022, this year's data shows a relatively stable plateau through August, September, and now October. That consistency could indicate a balance between inflows from the Colorado River system and the outflows through Hoover Dam. While seasonal evaporation and water demand continue to influence the numbers, it's encouraging to see that the late-year trend isn't sharply downward. Still, at 1058 feet, Lake Mead remains significantly below its full pool of 1,229 feet, a reminder of how much recovery is still needed to return to normal. The difference of more than 170 feet represents billions of gallons of missing storage capacity.
Even with the gains seen over the past year, the reservoir continues to operate at less than half of its historical potential. However, compared to the near panic levels of three years ago, the tone today is more cautiously optimistic. Each additional foot gained or retained is a small victory for the system's resilience. Looking ahead, the real question will be whether 2026 continues this gradual stabilization or whether new declines will emerge. The current data suggests that Lake Mead has entered a slower, more balanced phase, neither plummeting nor rising rapidly. In the context of the past five years, that alone counts as progress. For those tracking the fate of the Colorado River Basin, the latest reading at 1058.10 feet serves as both a sign of modest recovery and a reminder of how fragile that recovery remains. The chart tells a story of ups and downs, but in 2025, at least for now, the lake is holding its ground. As we wrap up today's look at Lake Mead's current water level, it's clear that 2025 is shaping up to be a steadier year than many expected. The lake isn't rising dramatically, but it's also avoiding the dangerous drops that have defined previous years. Every inch of water matters here, and the difference between decline and stability can mean everything for the millions who rely on this reservoir. We'll keep watching closely as the water year continues, tracking each small rise, each dip, and every milestone in between. If you found this update helpful, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more detailed water level reports from Lake Mead and Lake Powell, because every drop tells part of the story. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next update.